Yeah. You're looking for something good. What, what are you, you gonna, gonna do? do? <laughs> Don't go see Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> frozen frozen empire is that frozen it? empire or something like that yeah you know what i'm a big fan of paul rudd and he could not even come close to saving this movie well he wasn't all that great in ant-man either hmm. so no. maybe he's on a like a downward trajectory i don't know they can't i don't know i think maybe maybe it's casting but they are so far from recapturing the original feel. Well, put it this way. If this was the movie that came out in 1980, whatever, there would not have even been another sequel. No, there wouldn't have been a franchise, right? So and The funny thing is, like, this was even a big step down from their first movie together, like I, the last one. I enjoy 2016 Ghostbusters more than I enjoyed this movie. Ugh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, but yes. I'm, like, saying, I'm not saying that that was a good movie, great movie. But I'm saying I enjoyed it more than this one. This one had really no life to it. They tr they they tr every joke. I like I didn't I don't think I cracked a smile. No, the the trouble was it really doesn't know what it wanted to be. Does it want to be a kids Ghostbuster movie? Does it want to be an adult Ghostbuster movie? Yeah. And we can't make the creature too scary. Instead, we'll make him look kind of dumb. Yeah. And does it want to be an angsty teen Ghostbuster movie? Yeah. Like we spent how much time? on her not being allowed to be a Ghostbuster because she shot a statue. Um, which, by the way, magically appeared back at the end of the movie. It was there yeah, again. The same statue that. on the same left-hand side of the yeah. library. There were so many mistakes in this movie. It was It's not funny. Like like when they she, she even cut the brass pole and then people are coming sliding down the brass pole. But that, they were sliding into the basement. She cut it upstairs. But it was... It's, one continuous pole. Well, <laughs> if you anyway. cut it upstairs, it's the, the bottom part of the know. pole is not going to fall. I don't know. <laughs> there was just so much. Well, I didn't mind her uh, sad part where she actually befriends a ghost. I didn't mind that. That it went on an, for a while, though. It was an interesting, dramatic part, but it didn't jive with the rest of the movie because they really went... Like, they kind of went in... In uninteresting places. Numerous times. Like, they brought back the villain of the Ghostbusters. And now he's the mayor. And he has the power to shut them down. But for some reason, he doesn't shut them down until she shoots a lion. And then she... Which was possessed. Which was possessed. And the, and the cops were right there looking at it being possessed. Uh, but... Meanwhile, the opening scene was them driving recklessly through the streets of New York, shooting a, you know, proton pack, and, just, and, they, and they go, oh, you, uh, you, you, uh, you crashed into two cars and some a little, bunch of bikes. and a bunch of bikes. Meanwhile, and so you're going to have to pay for that. Meanwhile, the news broadcast is showing this great big rip through an apartment building on the 10th floor that they shot through. They ripped out the whole wall. They didn't even mention that. There's like, 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 there was so much inconsistency in this movie that I got so annoyed. And even their flashbacks with the jokes and the humor it hit nothing. Hit nothing. Nothing. Nothing in this movie. Yeah, the jokes were all pretty bad. Um, they, I, I don't even under why. Why did they keep having that? I'm that. I'm a, I'm an adult now. That guy. Yeah, well, like he, they got to give him something to do. He is really, really bad. Well, at he, acting, he's Stranger Things. He, he they put him in this because he was a really popular show. That's why he was in he's this. He's bad, terrible. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't give him anything to do. And all of a sudden, oh, by the way, here's that girl from the first movie. You had no idea was going to be in this movie, and she shows up halfway through the film, uh, working for Winston. Mm -hmm. The girl with the and but the fun part of that is, is Winston at the end is giving the guy like oh you you have kids running around with proton packs on their back it's dangerous you could have got those kids hurt. Meanwhile, he has the same young kids shooting like laser beams in his place that he's building like contradictory, contradictory, contradictory. 
It's like they did not know what they're doing when they wrote this. Uh, yeah, what I found very upsetting was that nothing was funny and nothing was interesting and I was waiting for something to happen. Like, through the whole movie, I was yeah. waiting for something good to happen to and, make me go, whoa. And even the climactic battle was five minutes long and boring as all heck. Well, they kept they kept trying to be funny when they weren't funny. And then they would try to, to do science-y talk. And they were really bad at that. Oh, and by the way, the most science-y guy is this kid that they introduce from Winston's area. That just, he knows everything about gods and... It, he, where did he come from? But he was a, he was a very uninteresting character. Yeah. They were throwaway Like character. deadpan character, yeah. why like are we engineer. watching him? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Sorry, I hated this movie. So why, why, why did they make it? Like, I know the franchise is Ghostbusters. Okay. The first, so, first but, one actually made money. But, and I know that they're capturing ghosts, but what of this feels like Ghostbusters? Nothing. And the whole point that they're trying to bring the younger audience, maybe they'll start following them because they brought the Stranger Thing kids into it and stuff like that. It's not going to work when you write this bad of a movie. Yeah. This was a boring movie. I really, I don't, I don't think they should have brought kids. I don't think kids should be the Ghostbusters. Like the Ghostbusters should be at least grown-ups. Well, if you're going to make a Ghostbusters movie, it's either got to be kick-ass dramatic and, and action-packed or it's got to be really super funny. Yeah. And they're not doing either of them. And this was none of the above. So, I don't know. Let's blame the writer's strike. You yeah, know, this this was horrible. What do you rate it? An honest rating. Yeah, because you can't go, well, this was a three. It wasn't a three, right? Ten, you gave it seven and three quarters. <laughs> Can I hit you for her? <laughs> I'm going to give it a four. I am disappointed I spent money in it. I wanted to walk out during the film. And there was nothing at all enjoyable in this. It might even be a three. It was not enjoyable in the least. I did not laugh. It was not dangerous. It was not exciting. It was not a good plot. It was not a good story. It was Ghostbuster garbage. What do you rate it? Uh, give it almost a six. I was I, I was thinking a six, so Dan, I didn't have a great time watching it. Boy, our our standards standards have so dropped in the past ten years, so dropped. Uh, yeah, because because everything's garbage. If this came out in like uh, say twenty fourteen, I'd say whoa whoa okay maybe maybe this isn't almost a six maybe this was a four, but. As far as things go these days, comparatively, it wasn't that bad. Uh, see, I'm not going to stick with what they're making now. Compared to what they're making now, it's good. But you might never, ever, ever get another and good movie. And then they'll never get a rating higher than five. <laughs> because these have been, like, they're, they got to just start over. Fire everybody in Hollywood and start over. If this is the garbage they keep putting out. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I almost walked out and went and saw the movie that they hated because I was so bored in this movie and so frustrated listening to the dialogue. And I, I'm just sitting there and I'm in my seat like this. You, you would not have I liked was, the dialogue of imaginary. I either. was stirring in this movie going, oh my God, let, let this end. Just let it end so I can end my misery of watching this film. What was the runtime on this movie? Too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's officially too long. <laughs> Okay, all right. It's just I, I felt like okay. Well, it ended. It was probably like under two hours. Oh, it was. But and, guess and what? So I was thinking, okay, well, that's that's okay. There was a Mazda commercial in the previews that was more entertaining than this movie. <laughs> just to give you an idea of what I thought of this movie. <laughs> Go Mazda. <laughs> so, you, in case you're wondering, who are you going to call? Not those writers. Don't let call them for anything else. Who are you gonna call? Someone else.